Hey guys, how you doing? If you're editing your videos in DaVinci Resolve like me, but you don't know how to import some plugins, titles and transitions into the DaVinci Resolve, let me show you. Firstly, you need to find some transitions from the web you can download from free or you can get from somewhere like Mwato. But still, let's say you get it, so it will be look like that. It is going to be a setting file. So how are you going to use this? You just need to go to uh, Program Data, Blackmagic Design, WG Resolve, and go to Fusion, and go to Template, go to Edit. In there, there will be some folders. Right now, I have Transitions, Titles, and Sounds. Uh, it can be different ones based on what kind of plugin or Thing you download and you want to add in your DaVinci Resolve. Today I'm just going to show the transitions, but you can download other content too. For example, if you don't have those folders, you can create it, by the way, that's okay. I created transition folders too. So I'm just going to go to transitions folder and I already have some dot setting files and the, those are transitions. I'm just going to control A, Control X to paste it right here. By the way, for example, I have some titles and they also setting file too. But some of the different stuff, if you download like script or some other plugin files, if you want, I can show you how you can import them too. Okay, so we just copied our transitions into the titles file in the I'm saying again, Blackmagic Program Data, Blackmagic Design, WG Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit, and Transitions. So I'm just going to restart my WG Resolve and I'm coming back. I restarted my WG Resolve and let's go to Video Transitions in the toolbox. As you see, all transitions came here. I'm just going to use one of them. Use I used, I tried blur. We can try different blur. I'm just going to get it, paste it in here. So let's try if it works. As you see, it's working pretty fine. By the way, for example, I download some titles like modern callout. They're setting files too. Let me show you. The thing you saw on the screen. If it is color red and if it is not working in your timeline, it is probably because of the font. So you don't have that font that uh, this template is using inside. So when you change the font, it will work pretty fine. So you don't have to think about it. With this way, you can use any kind of dot setting file and plugin inside of your DaVinci Resolve. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Until the, see until the next video, see you all. I hope you all doing great work.